chapter 7-3 in Algebra 1 from the Houghton Mifflin, or no, McDougal Tell Structures and Methods, Book 1. This is a great section. Uh, there's a number of ways that we can deal with this. Uh, these types of problems where we have variables in the numerator, we have unlike denominators, we can find common denominators, we can get rid of those common denominators. And that's what we see here with A. We're getting rid of, we're distributing that 6 into each of these terms, and it cancels, and notice the fractions are gone, and then we have a relatively simple problem to do. Um, and then we see in B where our coefficients, we have to keep track of our coefficients. We look at our denominators, 5 and 4, common multiple is 20, and Notice we get 4 times 2a, so we get 8. So we got to be aware of that coefficient in front of the variable that we also have to deal with. So uh, we're going to take this problem. Um, let's do this. And we look at the denominators, 2 and 3. And 3, we're going to multiply everything, and that's the important thing, everything by 6. We have to balance that equation. So we're going to have 6 times w over 2, which gives us 3w. We have 6 times w over 3, which gives us 2w. And then we have 6 times 5 thirds, which gives us 10. So in case you don't know how I got those numbers, we're just distributing. That's 6 times w over 2 plus 6 times w over 3 equals 6 times 5 over 3. And now let's see the canceling. That's the 4, so that's how, that's the 3, that's how we get 3w. These cancel 2, that's how we got the 2w. These cancel the 2, 2 times 5 is 10. So that's what we're doing there. Now we're going to combine like terms, divide by 5, and we get w equals 2. If we put 2 over 2, which equals 1, plus 2 over 3, which equals 2 thirds, which equals 1 and 2 thirds, which is equivalent to 5 over 3, which converts, not simplifies, converts to 1 and 2 thirds. So that's how we're doing these problems. We're going to find a common multiple, which in this case is 12, and we're going to multiply everything times 12. So we get 4x minus 3x equals 1, and we get x equals 1. Look how fast we did that very complex problem. 12 cancels with 4x, cancels 3x, cancels, leaves us with 1. Yeah, as easy as that. So we're going to Look at the denominators, 3, 4, 6, which is 12 again. And we get, this time, 4 times 2y plus 3 times y. Wow, it's a very loud noise. What are we doing? Oh, hello, Mr. On My Wall. I don't know if you can hear that noise. Uh, and then we're going to multiply this by 12, which equals 22, 2 times 11. So 8y plus 3y equals 22. 11y equals 22 divided by 11. y equals 2. Checking. 2 times 2 is 4 over 3. 4 over 3 plus 1 half, Ooh. which is, what would we say, 4 thirds plus 1 half gives us sixes, which gives us eight, which gives us three, which is 11 six, which equals 11 six. That's my check. They're being really obnoxious right now. I mean, what, 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 are, we, what are we doing while I'm trying to teach here? You're right on my wall, noisy person. And I got a million problems to do. But we're going to work through it. Common denominator, 4, 3, 6 is again 12. So that's 3a times 3 minus 4a times 4 equals, let's multiply this by 12, negative 7 times 2. So 9a minus 16a 
equals negative 14. That's going to give us negative 7a equals negative 14. Divide by negative 7, a equals 2. Alrighty, these are getting pretty good. Let's multiply by common denominator, which is 12. And we get 4x plus 3x equals 84, which is 7x equals 84. Divide by 7 equals 12. 12 over 3 is 4. 12 over 4 is 3. 4 plus 3 equals 7. That worked on the check. We like these, and this is how simple it is, right? Look how nice and easy we can do this in 10 seconds. 2x times 2 minus x times 3 equals 72. It's 6 times 2x over 3 minus 6 times, or plus 6 times negative x over 2. So we're canceling that. We're getting the 2 times 2x. We're canceling that. We're getting the 3 times negative x. So I'm just showing you what's going on, just in case. 4x minus 3x equals 72. x equals 72. So these problems are really, really simple when you know how to do them. Common denominator, common multiple is going to be 20. So we get 5x plus 4x equals 4 times 9. It's just going to be 4, right? Because we get 9x equals 9 times 4. Divide by 9. We don't even have to multiply that. And we get 4 because these are going to cancel. I don't know if you saw that. So sometimes it's better not even to multiply, to keep it as products, especially when we have to cancel. 4, 6, and 3 is going to be 12 as a common multiple. So that's going to give me 3 times 3y plus 2 times negative y equals 7 times 4. 9y minus 2y equals, watch this, 7 times 4. We're going to keep that because that's 7y equals 7 times 4. Divide by 7 and we get y equals 4. So again, sometimes it's better not to multiply the numbers, to leave them as a product so I can cancel them. Common denominator is 12. Let's multiply by 12. 4a plus 3a equals negative 7 times 3. You get 7a equals negative 7 times 3. Divide by 7. Divide by 7. a equals negative 3. All right. I, and I haven't taught it in this manner, but I like that. You want to multiply it out? Multiply it out. Common denominator is 9. You get 3 times 2x minus 5x equals negative 9. 6x minus 5x equals negative 9. x equals negative 9. We can check it out. Negative 18 over 3 is negative 6. Negative 5 times negative 9 gives you 5. 6 minus negative 6 plus 5 equals negative 1. That worked. Number 11, we're going to multiply by 9 again. We get 3a minus a equals 18. 2a equals 18 divided by 2. a equals 9. 9 over 3 is 3. Minus 1 is 2. Quick checking. Common denominator 6, or common multiple is 6. We're multiplying both sides, multiplying everything, we get 2a times 2 minus 3a times 3 equals 5. 4a minus 9a equals 5. Negative 5a equals 5. Divide by negative 5, a equals negative 1. We're doing these problems in about 10 seconds.
because of our familiarity with the problems, because our familiarity with multiples, that looked like a two. So we get two a times two minus um, a times five equals three. Four a minus five a equals three. Negative a equals three. Multiply by negative one. We haven't solved for the variable. Now we have a by itself. Check it out. Negative six over five. Three over two. There, that's too many. Too much. Too much mental. I'm going to trust that I did it right. 14 is the common multiple for 14. We get 2 times 6b plus 7 times negative b equals, I'm going to keep this as four, 5 times 14. I'm going to see if it works. We'll see. 12b minus 7b equals 5 times 14. That's going to be 5b equals 5 times 14. And that gives me divide by 5. We get b equals 14. It worked out for me. I don't think it always is going to work, but it's weird. They're just doing 8, not 16 people. 8. 8 is our common multiple. So we get 3n plus 4n equals, I'm going to leave it as 7 times 8. 7n equals 7 times 8, divide by 7, n equals 8. <laughs> I love it. Common multiple is 10, 3n plus 2n equals 5 times 3, 5n equals 5 times 3, divide by 5, n equals 3. This is really beautiful. This is very elegant. Seeing the simplicity of these problems, how they work. Multiply everything by 8. 7m minus 2m equals negative 5 times 4. That's 5m equals negative 5 times 4. Divide by 5. m equals negative 4. And that efficiency, that familiarity, that understanding helps us with the speed. 6, 8, and 2 uh, is going to be 24. It's not 12. 24. Might not. It is a common multiple. It might not be the least, but I'm pretty sure it is. 18, no. 24. Uh, that's going to give us 4 times 5x. This is going to give us um, 3 times negative 3x, and this is going to give us 11 times 12. Uh, that is 20x minus 9x equals 11 times 12. That's going to give us uh, 11x equals 11 times 12. Divide by 11. x equals 12. All right, uh, now we have, ooh, I like this. So this is an interesting one. So now we're still doing the same thing. We're still getting rid of the denominator by multiplying by a common multiple of the denominators. And I'm going to take it easy. So I'm going to do 6 times x over 2 plus 6 times, yeah, see, you're already, you're already hurting me. Uh, I'm going to put the negative there. I know, but it's not a negative 6. But we got to put it somewhere, unless we're going to distribute it up there. Uh, x minus 1 over 3 equals 30. So these cancel. That gives me 3x. These cancels with 2, but i got to di distribute that to both of them. So that's negative 2x plus 2 equals 30. That's the tricky part, is when we cancel these denominators with this common multiple, when we have that, we got to distribute it to both. And then, to make it even more complex, you got a negative out there that has to be associated with it. So we get x plus 2 equals 30 minus 2, x equals 28. You want to check? Let's check. Let's check. We'll do it just for the first one, but we'll check it. Nope. Paste. Paste. So we get checking. 
check. We get 28 over 2 minus 28 over 1 over 3 equals 5. That's going to be 14 minus 27 over 3 equals 5. 14 minus 9 equals 5. 5 equals 5. Yes, it worked. So let's do some more. 8, 5, and 4 is going to be 20 for 20. <laughs> I see what you're doing, but it's not 20 because 8 doesn't go into 20. Sorry. Nice try. I don't see what you're doing. Uh, it's 40, 40, which gives us 5x, which gives us negative 8 times the quantity x plus 3 equals 30. 5x minus 8x minus 24 equals 30. Negative 3x minus 24 equals 30. Add 24. And we get negative 3x equals 54. Divide by negative 3. x equals negative 1. 18, negative 18. Let's check it out. Let's check. We're going to check because we're getting complex. It'll take me. Let's see how much time it takes me to check. Now, yes, I had to copy it. Oh, good. Thank you for doing that for me. All right, checking and go. So we got negative 18 over 8 minus negative 18 plus 3 over 5 equals 3 fourths. Wow, this is going to be a little bit more time consuming than I thought. That's negative 9 fourths. That is the opposite of negative 15 over 5, which makes positive 9 fourths plus uh, 3 equals 3 fourths, and 3 in fourths is positive uh, 12 fourths. So that gives us 3 fourths equals 3 fourths, and it worked. For our checking. Check. How many seconds was that? 30? All right. Let's multiply by 6. We get 2n minus 3 times the quantity n plus 5 equals times 6. Times 6 is still 0. 2n minus 3n plus minus 15 equals 0. Negative n minus 15 equals 0. Huh. Let's add n, Mr. Mac. We get negative 15 equals n. That was a nice little tricky move. Saved us one step. How many we got here? Well, we got lots of problems today, baby. 10, which gives us, that doesn't look like a 10, which gives us 5x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 3. I like to mess with that negative sign, you tricksters. 5x minus 2x minus 6 equals 30. 3x minus 6 equals 30. Add 6. 3x equals 36. x equals 12. 6. 12. What? 12 plus, oh, that's 15 minus 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. It worked. Ah, here we can revert back to cross product since there's only one term equaling one term. So no need to find a common denominator multiplying everything by 6. It's much easier to just multiply 3 times x plus 2 equals 2 times 2x. 3x plus 6 equals 4x minus 3x minus 3x, 6 equals x. Much easier, 6 over 2, 6 plus 2 is 8 over 2 is 4, 6 times 2 is 12 over 3 is 4. Now we're back to two terms, multiple terms, so we will look at the common denominator. There's only one denominator. That is 8, that gives us 8x plus x minus 2 equals 160, 9x minus 2 equals 160, add 2, 
9x equals 162, which is divisible by 9, because 1 plus 6 plus 2 gives us 9, which means 9 goes into 9, 9 goes into 16 once with 72, 8, 18. X equals 18, 18, 18 minus 2 is 16, 18 plus 2 is 20. And look how fast we can check. So again, we have one term. So we can just uh, cross product here. Boom, boom. It's going to be the easiest 4x minus 2, 3x plus 3 equals 4x minus 8 minus the 3x. Let's move the variables x minus 8 plus 8, 11 equals x. So you will see this on your placement test. These are very, very common problems. Oh, look at that. There are four problems, or four terms. So we're still going to multiply everything by 4, both sides by 4. You get 4x plus 2x equals 28 minus x. Can you do it that fast? I would combine these first, and then I would move the variable. 7x equals 28, divide by 7, x equals 4. I did that in probably 20 seconds. Are you that good to do it in 20 seconds? You want to get out of Algebra 1 and into Honors Geometry, you got to be able to do problems like 7-3 as fast as this. We're going to multiply by 6, not 18. 6 is the least common multiple. And we get x minus 1 plus 2 times the quantity x plus 2 equals 30. Don't forget to multiply both sides. x minus 1 plus 2x plus 4 equals 30. Let's combine before we move. Simplify that left side before we start moving things. Minus 3. 3x equals 27, divide by 3, x equals 9. Yeah, that's good. 9 minus 1 is 8 over 6. Yeah, that's not going to be a fun one to, to do in your head. I'm just going to assume I did it correctly. However, I feel kind of bad. Let's check it. Times 6, x minus 1, 2 is correct. x plus 2, 2x plus 4. 3x plus 3, that is correct. 30. Yep. Just check my work. Check it. Multiply everything by 6, which is 0, which is 12m minus, oh, minus the quantity, 3m plus 18, because there's a 1, right? 6 cancels, and you have 1 with that negative. So that's a trick one. There's where a lot of students will make their mistakes. 0 equals 9m minus 18. Add 18, add 18. You get 18 equals 9m. Divide by 9, divide by 9. 2 equals m. That's a good one. If you can get, you know, if you can get number 28 correct, you're you're on the right track. So if you were able to do that correctly, good on you. Here's another fun one. So if you could write that that fast and see what it was going to be, again, don't make that mistake. Minus 30, combine like terms, negative 2x plus 8 equals negative 30 minus 8 minus 8. This is a weird answer. Negative 2x equals negative 38. Divide by negative 2. x equals 19. That's a weird one. 19. 20 is 4. 19 is, 19 is 18, which is... 6, 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Checked it, got it.
We're going to multiply everything by 15. We get 3 times quantity x minus 3 plus 5 times 2 equals x plus 2. 3x minus 9 plus 10 equals x plus 2. Simplify before you move. Simplify everything in there. Uh, that is my lovely wife. I, I am making a video. I'll call you in a sec. Thank you. Sorry, I can't answer right at the moment because I'm making a video. Minus x, move your variables first. 2x plus 1 equals 2. Minus 1, 2x equals 1. Divide by 2 is 1 half. x equals 1 half. That's our first fraction in a long time. Oof. You want to check? Let's check. Let's check the fraction just to see, because people are a little nervous about putting a fraction in there. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. 1 half minus 3 over 5 plus 2 thirds equals 1 half plus 2 over 15. So that is <laughs> negative 2 and a half over 5, which is technically just negative 1 half because Mr. Mac is smart with fractions, plus two-thirds plus two-thirds equals, that's two and one-half over 15. Uh, two and one-half over 15, which is five over two divided by 15, which is five over two times one over 15, which is one-sixth. One-sixth. And that's going to be, let's make it sixths. So that's four sixths. That's negative three, which is one sixth. When you're good with fractions, you don't get intimidated by it. Hopefully you understood all that. Let's see if she left me a text response. Miss call. Nope. She did not. So hopefully that's okay. She left me a voicemail. Times 10 which is 2 times x plus 1 equals 3x minus 6 plus 5 times 3. How many more we got? Oh, we got 1, 2, 3 more after this. So 2x plus 2 equals 3x minus 6 plus 15. Let's simplify before we move. 3x plus 9. 9? 9. nine. Minus 2x, minus 2x. Let's minus the 9, move the constants over. As we move the variables to the right, we can move the constants to the left, and you get x equals negative 7. Um, assuming I got it right. Common denominator is going to be uh, 12, so that's 6 times x plus 5. That's going to be negative 4 times x plus 6, and that's going to be three times x. That's six x plus 30 minus four x minus 24 equals three x. Two x plus six equals three x minus the two x minus the two x. Six equals x. Two x, six. Yep, that's correct. Let's look at common denominators. 21, that's 3 times 3n minus 1 minus 7 times 2n minus 1 equals negative 126. Negative 126. That's 9n minus 3 minus 14n plus 7 equals negative 126. Negative... 5n plus 4 equals negative 126 minus 4 minus 4. Negative 5n equals negative 130. Divide by negative 5. Negative 5n is going to equal positive 260, 26. Yeah, 
26, yeah, 26. I'm not checking. Way too much work. I got to go. I got to make a phone call. 18 is the common denominator. We get 3 times x plus 6 minus 2 times x equals 6 times 2. 3x plus 18 minus 2x equals 12 x plus 18 equals 12 minus 18 minus 18 x equals negative 6. That's 0, negative 6 over negative is positive 2 thirds. That worked. And that's it. Let's go. Three videos on this lovely April 1st. No April Fool in here. Congrats. Make sure you know 7-3. 7-3 is a big, big thing that a lot of students are not uh, super confident in by the time they leave Algebra 1 in 8th grade. Good luck.